Hi, this is Channel Pearl, and we're back with Card of the Day 2. So, Jason. Yes. What is the card that you are going to be showing us today? Well, Nina, right here we have a 1952 Topps Andy Pafco. Um, it's a PSA 2.5, which is good plus condition. You know, not so great. There's a little wrinkle in the upper corner up here, and the, the corners themselves are a little bit soft, but I'm really pleased to own this card. Great. So where did you get that card? Um, I got this card off eBay, actually, um, and uh, I just decided a few weeks ago I had to have an Andy Pafco card because it's one of the most famous cards in all of baseball card collecting, and there's a story behind it. Now, to get it in great condition, like in near mint condition or better, it would cost like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, so I had to settle for good plus, but it's, it's well-centered, as you can see, which is important to collectors because it gives a good eye appeal, and it's a great card. So tell us a little bit about that story. So uh, Andy Pafco, as most card collectors will uh, will know, is the first card in the 1952 top set, which is probably the most famous set of cards ever produced. Although you can make a case for uh, T206 cards or 33 Goody set, both amazing sets also. Uh, but I digress. Um, because he was the first card in the set back in the 50s, uh, the boys uh, and girls who collected cards used to uh, flip them and they would stack them, and because this was the number one card in the set, it would appear on top, and um, anybody who wrapped them in rubber bands, for example, would, would damage the Andy Pafco because it was on top. And so um, it's a very condition-sensitive card, we call that. It's very hard to find in pristine condition. Uh, there was one that was found out of a pack many years ago. There's a great story about that, and uh, it was worth $85,000 it sold for, and now it would probably sell for even more. But um, because of that, uh, it's a very, very famous card. Andy Pafco was not a great player. He was not, never made it to the Hall of Fame, but he was a good, solid journeyman ball player. And you can see he's wearing the Brooklyn Dodgers uniform, which is very iconic. And it's just, I think it's just a brilliant card. I'm really pleased about it. Great. Channel Pearl is out.